Previously on Mass Effect. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Commander Shepard, step forward. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. And welcome back to Mass Effect. We're on the Normandy. Or last time we became a Spectre, which is a special rank for the Council. Where we serve the uh, interstellar community, I would say. As kind of a special agent who doesn't need to play by the rules. Uh, we should go fly somewhere. Got some free XP there. We were given our own ship, and now we can decide where we want to go to in space. You can zoom out several times here, and you can see the galaxy map. We have all these different clusters that we can go explore already. Pharos, Liara's Dick Site, and Novaria are our main quests, and Asteroid X-57 is for the DLC. And I had said I wanted to go to Liara's Dick Sites in the, the game yesterday. Yesterday. Last episode. Which I recorded yesterday. So let's let's fly over there. I think I don't think it was Sparta that we have to go to, but let's just fly there and uh We'll see what happens. Every cluster does have something of value for us. Keep in mind we are playing on the highest difficulty and that mostly impacts combat. Where all our enemies are tougher and use their powers and aren't afraid to hurt us. When you're exploring the map like this, I think it's very zen, very calming. There's usually something in one of the two asteroid belts. Here we go. Salacious Asteroids, if that's pr how I pronounce that. Prothean data disk discovered. While scanning the field, the asteroid field in the Sparta system, you found signs of habitation. A recon team was sent to investigate one of the larger asteroids. The rock had a small functioning biodome, but no signs of anyone still living there. There was, however, a data console with an intact Prothean data disk inside. Don't you miss games giving you textual lore like that and you have to just kind of fill in the rest there's no exploration involved in that respect there's just you have to find it on the map you can also survey this planet terrestrial planet for some plutonium and this planet hydrogen helium gas giant large concentration of hydrogen Edolus is a planet we can land on. I remember that one very well. Okay, and that's it for this cluster, or this star system. When I press exit, we can see I get XP and I get money. I get 1,080 credits, which for us right now is actually a lot. Uh, in my journal... I've got this valuable minerals side quest where while surveying different clusters I can collect light and heavy metals, rare earths and gases. This will give us XP and money as we find them. You can also find them while going through different planets. Prothean data disks we can find. There's a hostage situation quest we can do. Missing survey team quest. And then our main missions here. Peros, Noveria, 
go to Artemis Tau and find Liara to Sony. I will save my game. And I will actually land on Edolus, as even though I recall it being a place I don't like. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Automated distress beacon. Edolus is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Edolus' surface is covered by wide deserts of silicate sand with only a few areas of igneous rock highlands to break the abrasive dust-choked wind. Edolus' orbit is congested with debris thrown inwards by the gravity of the gas giant Ontomalka. Due to a high rate of meteor impacts, exploration is highly dangerous. You can see nice little factoids about the planet. We can land on it. And we'll get to pick a crew to go with us. So let's, for example, pick Pally and Rex. We've landed on the planet's surface on the Mako. This is an all-terrain vehicle that people love to hate because... In the Legendary Edition that I'm playing right now, the sort of remaster, its handling has already improved, but it is very hard to navigate with this thing sometimes. Up there, I believe, is where... Let's look at our map. No, that's the opposite direction. Up here is a big boss enemy. I'll show it to you, but you won't like it. And there is... Over here, there is a mineral... And down in the south, in the, over here in the east. So we'll go pick those up. There are quite a few missions where you're exploring planets in the Mako. You know, have a, a boost ability here. I can jump. I can zoom in. And I've got a machine gun. And a grenade launcher. And then I believe that maybe some of my companion skills may improve the Mako. I already took damage from falling just now. You can go on foot and sometimes you have to. But the Mako protects you from the elements. And from enemy fire. Securing point. Polonium. So that's... There we go. I believe uh, that counts as a rare earth. Rare element surveyed. Map. And we'll go south. You also noticed maybe that all of my characters are equipped with helmets on this planet. And that is just because it does not have a breathable atmosphere. So because of that, we are forced to suit up all the way, which is a detail I do like. I'm a big fan of a lot of the Star Trek TV series, and evidently Mass Effect is also inspired by those. But in those series, you'll never see someone put on a suit when they go into another planet or a, or a derelict ship or something. They'll always just be wearing their normal Starfleet dress clothes. Palladium. Okay, and then... Final deposit is over here-ish. Oh, I can actually approach this smoking vehicle. I believe there is nothing here. It's a tank, kind of like our Mako, but lower detail. But it's a tiny little touch to show that people have visited.
Okay. Gotta climb our way up this hill. I'll show you the big boss enemy. I'll save beforehand just in case I cannot survive the encounter. But theoretically, as long as we dodge its attacks, we'll be okay. Lithium. There we go. It's a light metal, isn't it? Yeah. And then... I don't know if we'll be able to pick it up, but over here... There's always... Usually every planet has a thing of debris. Which looks like... The icon looks like some stacked... Bricks or rocks, maybe? And... It's always like a crashed probe. There you go. And purely depending on our electronic skill of one of our crew members, that determines whether we can salvage this or not. And we can because we brought Tally and she has some electronic skill. No, see? <laughs> Never mind. Her skill's too low. So, if I go to squad and Tally, she has electronics, but it's not high enough for for this probe. So we could come back. It doesn't contain much. It's just some loot, but also some XP for opening the... Uh, salvaging the probe. Two. There's something there. What is there? Oh, yes. Something I do want, actually. There is a collectible up north here that I want to get. Other than that, and the boss enemy, that's all you can get on this planet. So then there won't be anything for us left to do. You can explore more, but isn't anything of note. Here we go. A mummified Salarian. Recovered the artifact. ID tag recovered. You found Captain Mylon's identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. Doesn't tell you really what this is about, but when we look at our journal, we can say the UNC locate signs of battle. There are several League of One medallions and a few ID tags scattered throughout these systems. The hunt must have been extensive and taken years. This is uh, some ancient Salarian stuff here. do mean ancient. Hundreds, well, at least hundreds of years old. We do not get a whole lot of lore on the Salarian League of One. Oh, well, what I do know about them is that they are like a precursor to the Spectres. Back before the Citadel and the Council were a thing. And then once the Citadel was established and this Spectres became a thing or start or were going to become a thing, they kind of disappeared. So maybe they were assassinated, maybe they were they went rogue. There we go. So what we've got over here, this is a big boss arena. You can Usually tell because of the big flat open ground. Um, can I zoom in further? Yes. There's a transponder there luring people in. And that's the missing marines over there. We're going to go in and you'll see exactly what this enemy is. The Thresher Maw. Okay, it hurt us. It hurt us pretty bad. Very much fight or flight mode. I feel like we're much slower than we used to be.
Ah. Taking a lot of damage. Too much, too much damage. Don't come this way, you bastard. We've killed it. Oh, there we go. That was very, very scary. Um, get out of here. We're gonna examine these marines. Soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. Let's see, there is an upgrade kit here. Some weapon ammo or a weapon ammo upgrades. There is no interaction we can do with this beacon. Which is unfortunate. There is another side quest that involves a beacon like that, and we can shut it down. We can go to our map and then press return to Normandy. Okay, that was very, very stressful for me. <laughs> I really hate fighting them. And there's several spread across different worlds in the universe. I can actually go back to the Citadel and report to Admiral Kahoku. Maybe you'll recall. But there was an admiral talking to... He wanted to talk to the council. He was at the Citadel Tower. Uh, speaking through like a communications device. And he apparently was trying to get a report. Trying to get information on why his marines were missing. What happened to them. But we found them. Those were the dead marines over there on Edelus, lured in by a beacon someone placed there and then killed by the Thresher Maw. So someone put it there deliberately. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. So we're back on the Citadel. We can go and we have to use the elevator In first. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef. So Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Yes, it does. I am at... Oh, this is the... way towards the Citadel Tower, but we're not quite there yet. Here we are. We can talk to Kahoku. I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? I found your missing uh, team. You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm afraid I have bad news. I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Well, they didn't do it on purpose. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. 
placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. There we go. It's one quest solved. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresham War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Well, that was concerning. And it will come back. We can hunt down some of these groups from Cerberus. We're in a cluster or a star system next to where we were before. And we found a Turian insignia. Scans of the planet Pharos revealed an abandoned base on its moon. The recon team found nothing of interest, but much of the debris was marked with the Magna Colony insignia. It's Nausicaa. Not have anything. Gurke. Gas giant. Gas deposit. Helium 3. Planet Proteus. Free oxygen. Salamis. Nothing. Then we can go to Macedon. Again, I'll always check the asteroid belt. There, metallic asteroid. Light metal. Porolin. Survey for Matriarch's writings. You were scanning the planet Porolin when a strange signal came from orbit. Navigator Presley determined the signal was from an ancient beacon. Your salvage team brought the beacon aboard and found one of Matriarch Dilanaga's writings in its storage compartment. Shargila. This is a planet I can land on. We'll do so in a moment. Patavig. There's nothing. And then there's this planet of Fargalus. Yes, high large concentration of xenon. And we've leveled up from all the surveying we've done. Giving us four more points to bestow on Shepard. Let's see. I'll put three points in Spectre Training. It gives us more health, maximum accuracy, and damage in duration. And it gives us a Unity Power, restores dead squad members with 30% health and 50% shields. So we can bring them back from getting knocked down. Put a point in... Should I put a point in barrier? One in throw. Going towards advanced throw. I think that's good. the planet Shargila. There's a side quest we do here later up at north at that 
exclamation point mark. There is some minerals we can survey. So I'll head in that oh head in that direction. Over here. This planet actually has a level one hazard. That means that it is not just inhospitable, but very dangerous to be outside of the Mako that's protecting us. Go up here to the where the mineral is, and I'll show you. Careful. There's a magnesium deposit. Oh, nothing much seems to be happening, but we do have to have this full face covering helmet on. But level one. Maybe some level 1s? I don't know. At least level 2. Level 2 hazards. They'll start... Uh, a bar starts filling up on the screen next to where the hazard is. And you take damage or you die... If that bar fills up. Because you're experiencing too much heat or cold or pressure. I managed to get stuck with the Mako. So that just goes to show you how... Fun the Mako is. We have some interesting views here, but every planet that you can land on is a slight different color palette laid on top of a height map that someone generated and at some point decided, yeah, that's good enough to place some structures here and there and that's about it. We've got a similar so-called handcrafted experience going on. In uh, the game Starfield that I've been playing recently. And similar to that, you know, you've got these planets there. There's not particularly a lot going on on them, which is realistic in a way. Most of them have some stuff you can get, like loot-wise. In this case, minerals. You've got maybe a dungeon where you can clear some enemies. But they're also not part of the main quest, the main story. We probably could go to the structure in the north and clear it out. But I want to wait and get the proper trigger for the side quest that involves it before going there and doing anything with it. It's very easy to do some of this stuff, like the planet Edelus I was just on. It's very easy to do that as one of your first things in the game, because depending on what choices you make, that might be going after Liara might be one of the first things you might want to do. And then that's the first system immediately that you land in. And you probably don't know right away that that's not the one where she's at, but it's the first one you might probably visit. And we have already by doing this favor, by finding the mar missing marines there, and speaking to Kahoku, we've already locked ourselves out of a conversation with Kahoku later on. That doesn't have a big story impact. Let's see. Do, 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 do. But there is another side quest where we get some information. It ties into Cerberus maybe somehow. And we can talk to Kahoku about it. And he just says, kind of like, how do you know this information? How do you know about this? Other than that, he doesn't contribute anything. He does not progress the quest or anything. 
believe it's kind of a dead end. Oh, a pistol and a grenade and some credits. It's a little Asari capsule. Recover. Two, three, four, five. Matriarch's writings. And we can also assign more points to, among other things, Caden. Medicine. First aid. And some antibiotics. Ashley. Points in assault rifles. Points in combat armor. First aid. Assault training. Our equipment. Let's see. We already have a good pistol, but it's a better pistol for Caden. Ashley already has a good assault rifle. She can now wear heavy armor because we upgraded her armor abilities. There, you can see she has some more armor plates and some heavier shoulder guards. Caden. This is better light armor for Caden. So you could put that on. Toxin resistance, for example, we could put on. Extra shields, shield battery. This dualist medium armor would have been good if we could wear it. In theory, we can. We can use a glitch that lets us wear the armor. I believe the Onyx armor, yeah, that's like the N7 iconic look. Unfortunately, we cannot keep that cool look if we want to wear armor that's better. It's time for me to head back to the Normandy, though. We should mentally prepare and then head out to go actually after Liar's dick site, and I'll see you there.